Hey everyone, welcome back again to Foxtech. This time we talk about can, if you can, minimize apps on your iPad. How does that actually work? Well, iPad runs iPad OS, which is very similar to iPhone and iOS. So it doesn't work the same way as on the Mac computer or on any computer. You don't have any button to like minimize the screen versus leaving the app. Well, it's still this very same thing. So if you, for example, get inside, I don't know, like settings, if you want to minimize the app, all you have to do is just to swipe up on it. And the app is technically closed, but also minimized. Meaning that if I open up the settings once again, I am at the very same page. So if I go to the control center and scroll down like this, I can leave the app, which is now minimized. Now I come back, I am exactly where I left the app before I closed it. However, if I go to the control center, swipe up, now the app is not just minimized, it is closed and now it's reset. I am in the main section again. So this is the difference between minimizing and closing apps on iPad and iPad OS. But also a different dimension comes in when you start to use different things. For example, if you just start to use stage manager, everything just looks different in that sense, right? So you start to use like different apps and everything. So you have the time manager where you can switch it between apps and it's looking much different, right? Because this is the stage manager. It's you can put it to the side. You can switch from different apps and everything. So right now the minimizing works a bit different using the stage manager. But again, the same principle, unless you close the app from here, then the app is just going to be in the background minimized instead of being closed. So this is the stuff that it works this way on the iPad OS. If there's going to be any change in the future, in case new iPad OS is going to be released, I will 100% make an updated video about that. So make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss it in the future. For now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out until then.